What is up you guys? My wife Haley and I have been trying to flip this house back here into a rental property for only $20 out of pocket. Currently we have $2,852.51 in the budget since the last video, but we've also sold a couple things on eBay and whatnot since then. So let's jump into those numbers and then head to the Goodwill bins. In our last installment of this series, you guys saw us pick up this pair of Ultra Lone Peak hiking shoes at the Goodwill bins. We listed those on eBay for 40 bucks and they sold for full asking price in about three or four days or so after fees we made $32.05. The next eBay sale was this Michelob Ultra Beer Tap Handle. We picked this up at a garage sale about a month and a half ago. I think it was like five bucks or so. That one sold for $40 plus shipping as well. We made $37.60 after fees on that. And finally, the biggest eBay sale we've had in a while in this series, this vintage 1965 Damn Things Troll Doll sold for $200 plus shipping. Haley found this at the bins on half off day, probably paid about $30. 30 cents for it and after fees we made $180.86. And the goal for today's video is to bring our budget up to at least $3,800 to pay for our new windows. All the vintage guys are walking out because there's no clothes in there. That's good for us. Looks like we got a lot of shoes, a lot of random stuff. Actually get that. It's half off day today, so everything is like 89 cents per pound. There's another skateboard here. Today. Santa Cruz? Yeah, it's a great skateboard. I think we got like three of these, or four of these guitar wall mount things from Hercules. It's actually kind of cool. They're probably like 10 or 15 dollars a piece on Amazon. So we can lock the four of those up. Busy, busy today. Is that real? Feels nice. You grab that. Do this. Horse. It's a Briar. Briar is a very great brand of horse plushes. They also make horse figurines. This is really good. Got a little Stormtrooper plush down here. He's pretty bad shape though. So, oh, it's a Mad TV Aquaman figure. He's missing the back card thing, but looks like everything's still in there. Definitely gonna grab that. Got a puzzle back here, 34 inch panorama, and it is still sealed. We love puzzles as long as they're sealed. If they're open, I don't really mess with them. Oh, look at these. Goosebumps books. Grab all those. I think some of these can do well. I'm not sure of these exact prints, but we'll grab them, look them up later. Oh, this is an L Mean Messenger bag. That's really cool. I like the color too. Got the strap. Yeah. Here's a Vera Bradley. One of those like large overnight bags. Kapari knit and scarf. New attack. Multi sock. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Plus right here, Squirtle from the Pokemon tag. A little dirty, but that one should clean up. A little Spidey. Spidey's okay. What the heck is that? Oh. That's interesting. It looks like this whole middle row is filled with shoes today. Looks like we kind of missed out on the first go around, but there's a couple still sitting over here. What's wrong with these? I don't see anything wrong with these. Women's eight and a half. Grab them. We got some of these. Cool burger, burger by Uggs. Just a little bit of wear to the toes, but nothing major there. That should clean up. Grab those. Look at this one, True Religion Shoe. I don't even know True Religion made shoes. Definitely gonna look for the other one. There it is, right there. Oh, it's all cracked. Man, it's a bummer. I can also grab these, just some leather, like calf boots from Bear Traps. Not a great brand, but we're getting into fall, so shoes like this probably do well. They look like they're flannel lined. I don't think they're real leather, but they're in good shape. Okay. Merrells down here. Kind of squished a little bit, but I think they're in good shape. Yeah. 
kids chacos. A little worn. Actually, there are women's six. Just found some bean boots. Pretty dirty, but they'll clean up really easily. Just found this cute Jamesport backpack. Yeah, not with a ton, but it's really cute. Cute pattern. Okay, just found this shoe. Hopefully somebody didn't throw it from over here. Oh, here it is. These are Diadora, nothing special, but they're cool. Really colorful. I got this. Got these back here. Camper. Never heard of these before, but they look very interesting. I'm gonna grab those. Got these as well. I thought these might have been like a fancy Oxford style Doc Martin, but they're actually a brand called Mr. B's. And it says Mr. B's made in Romania, 100% leather, and it's for Aldo. So it's a gentleman's boutique for Aldo, which is probably not worth a ton. Men's nine and a half. It is leather, it's in pretty good condition, so I think I'll probably grab those. All right, let's take a look at this thing here. It does have all 50 stars on there, so it's not that old. It's everywhere, 100% cotton, three by five. I love the patina that it has on there. So I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna get that. Hi, Hello. I set these right here. I, I don't think anybody will grab them, but it's too heavy for me to carry around. I'm gonna still look at this. Energizer Bunny plush animal fair. He's very, very dirty, but it's from 1989. 1989? I mean, like, he's got his sunglasses on. I think this is worth getting and just like trying to get some of those stains out. That is awesome. I found this Rydell football helmet. Must be in pretty solid condition, a couple little scuffs, but of course that's gonna happen. It's from 2016, it does have somebody's name on there, but they're 161 listed for sale, 50, 60, 100 bucks, something like that. So we'll see how many have actually sold over here. 156 sold. So that's pretty crazy. Hundred and twelve of those were used. I think I'm gonna grab this. I don't know the exact model, but I mean that one looks very similar. That one sold for eighty bucks. I don't see any that have sold for less than like fifty. So I'm gonna grab it. I think I did find one shoe palette that doesn't look like it's been gone through yet, or I don't know, maybe it has. So I don't know. But over here, I got some Nike blazers. The laces are a little dirty, and the bottom, like the soles, are a little dirty, but. No major wearing. Men's size 13 from 2014. Yeah, I'll grab those. It's just really frustrating. Haley and I are both trying to find shoes. I've found a lot of good ones, but it's just single shoes. Like this really nice steel toe keen boot. We found two black on clouds, but they're different. They're, they're just different. I got this single red wing boot. It's actually freaking huge. This is a men's 14 double extra wide. If I can find the other one of these, it's got a little bit of like mildew or something on there, but we can clean that up with some vinegar leather polish that's probably like a hundred dollar boot right there we just can't find anything did find a couple things this pair of hokas up here it's a women's size 11 Fondi 7 a little dirty but no major wearing no heel heel spots in the back that should be good found two things that are kind of interesting i found this raiders hat but it's green and yellow it is vintage made in the usa but i don't think that's the oakland raiders I think that might be like a, I don't know, some subset or something, like a high school team or something like that, I don't know. But I also found this little Dooney and Burke bag, which it's got the little Dooney and Burke logo on there. It's just like printed into the leather. The leather feels to be in pretty good condition. It's got a little Dooney and Burke thing in there. It's got the little red, white, and blue tag in there. So I'm pretty sure this is real. Got a little mark right there, but that should come out. It's got the strap. Grab that. This is all about a little baseball bag, Easton baseball bag. I think that's pretty good. I found a, a wakeboard over there and I thought about getting it and taking it straight to play it against sports. But I'm like, I'll just wait and see if it's still available when we go to leave. I also found this pair yeah. of Birkenstock, uh, literally like brand new Birkenstocks. They're like ballet slippers or something. Yeah, that's cool. Got this Kate Spade bag right here. It's just kind of sitting on top. So makes me feel like there's something wrong with it for somebody to put it back. I don't 
see it peeling. Oh yeah, his pull straps are cracking right there. So I think we're almost ready to go. The wakeboard is still open. That's what it looks okay, like. Okay, so like, what do you think they would charge us for it? I don't know. Probably do like five bucks. We could take it straight to Played Against Sports and might get 30 for it. It is kind of the end of summer, so yeah. they might not buy it. But if they don't buy it, we can just take it back to Goodwill and redonate it. That's not. Not buy it. Okay, she's spoken, folks. What's wrong with the Juni? I think it's fake. Well, it works out for think it's fake? I mean, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, it's off center. It's like printed crookedly. The yellow thread is like sticking out. This feels, it doesn't feel good. It's peeling right there. Yeah. It's all, yeah, that's 100% fake. I did find a real Dooney though. It's Ooh, got a little nice. Dooney on the front. It's got a Dooney pressed on the back. Yeah. Everything's, I've never seen one like this before, but it's pretty cool. That's really cool. What are these? Diadora or Diadora. Diadora, yeah. It's kind of cool. A lot of shoes today. A lot of shoes. Let's go well, check out. The majority of this stuff. Yeah, literally shoes like today. the entire place is filled with shoes. So. Let's go check out. See what the damage is. We'll go from there. I was on the way to check out, but I saw this little Glock box over here. I'm sure there's nothing in it, but the box alone is probably still still worth grabbing. Fifty-two seventy-five. All right. Thank you. You too. See ya. Oh, I forgot my skateboards. What? I put those skateboards over there. I didn't buy them yet. Just sit right there. I'm gonna check out again. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Haley does not like it when I buy skateboards, but these are good skateboards. And we've Are got you going to sell them yes. and ship them. Yes. Well, Kim will ship them. We could ride them. Ride them out to the car. <laughs> so much easier than walking. I arrived in style. Ugh. All right. Yeah, it's all in there. So we got home this morning after the bins. We did a load of laundry with some of this stuff, got other things just cleaned up and ready to be presented in a whatnot auction that evening. And here's our list of orders from that show. We did a couple giveaways. You guys will see the price will say $0. You'll also notice a couple of these have like discounted prices that uses code SAVE5. We introduced a coupon in this show. So new buyers could use code SAVE5 and save $5 off their purchase. That was pretty cool. $19 after the coupon for the little Squirtle plush. That was really nice. I don't want to go through everything. We'll just scroll through and you guys can just read and you know, see, get a good idea of what things sold for. This Dooney and Burke wallet sold for $39. That was really nice there. That was authentic. Uh, Chaco sold for 11 bucks, 38 bucks on the set of Goosebumps books. That was awesome. All right there, a little uh, Vera Bradley bag sold for 39. That was really good. Uh, Tahari beanie and scarf set sold for six. Nice little deal on that one. The Dooneyberg backpack, the one that I found, sold to our friend Mimi for $99. I think that was the best sale of this show. Mimi, thank you so much for your support there. I hope you enjoy the bag. Um, just all sorts of stuff. A lot of giveaways, a lot of the coupon codes. I think we had seven or eight new buyers in this show. Uh, and it was just a really fun time. Everybody enjoyed watching it. People bought some stuff. We got great prices for our items, made a good amount of profit for this house flip series. And in this show, we did a total of $734 in gross revenue and after fees and shipping and the coupons and all that stuff, we made $608.23. So it's coming down to the wire a little bit. It is currently 3.12 p.m. and we're actually supposed to go meet the window guy around 4.45 this afternoon to pay him the $3,800 we owe him but we're still ninety dollars and 86 cents short hi i did the math wrong it's actually 146 dollars and 50 cents short and the only way to make that much money in that short amount of time is through a whatnot auction so i've gone around the warehouse and i've found several items that were part of the house flip budget that we either had listed on ebay and haven't sold yet or for whatever reason we just haven't sold them yet so we've got a couple little plush here little women's Masters shirt, this little Titanfall t-shirt. That was part of our flea market t-shirt deal a couple weeks ago. This very nice vintage Levi's Panatella shirt that's been listed on eBay for like 60 bucks for four or five months. It just hasn't sold yet. Nike crew neck. The only reason I didn't sell this one is because it has a little, almost like a little rip right there, but it doesn't go all the way through. But I don't think that's bad enough to not sell it. We also have this really nice Arcteryx jacket that for some reason hasn't sold. This was one of the first things we bought in this challenge. We paid 
I don't know, like seven or eight dollars for it at Goodwill, and it's been listed for 50 bucks on eBay for a while. And we've had a couple messages, but nobody's pulled the trigger, so I'm just gonna put it on whatnot for a dollar. See what happens. A little Spider-Man plush here. These shoes from today's video. This is not a great whatnot item. I don't expect these to sell for much, but we are getting desperate. And I also have four golf clubs. I think I'm going to sell this um, Odyssey putter like individually, like just the putter, run that. And then I'm going to run these other three Adams clubs as one lot. And we got all these at the flea market. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a month ago or so. So we did a quick pop-up auction with these 12 items, and a pop-up auction just means that you didn't previously advertise it or schedule the show out in advance to get any bookmarks. You just go live and whatnot, and whoever shows up, shows up. And luckily for us, we do have a relatively larger following, so we still had plenty of people in the show, but with only 12 items and we needed to make $146.50 after fees, uh, it was tough. We had some smaller stuff like the plushes, some stuff that really needs a specific buyer, like those Oxford style boots and, and things like that. So all things considered, I was actually pretty nervous in the show, but we did have a few really nice sales that I think ended up saving the day. So we just finished with the whatnot show. Unfortunately, my GoPro died when it was filming the time lapse, but I think we did pretty good. So we sold the STX lacrosse bag. That one went for $13. The Arcteryx jacket went for $31. That was very good there. Titanfall shirt sold for $7. Spider-Man plush sold for $7 as well. Women's Augusta National shirt sold for $10. $10 on the Mr. B's uh, like leather Oxford shoes. Really killer deal on that one. Pikachu plush sold for $10 as well. Six dollars on the secret, <laughs> secret Loify cat plush. Odyssey left-handed putter sold for twelve dollars. Vintage Levi shirt sold for nineteen bucks. A lot of three golf clubs. Uh, all the Adams golf clubs sold for eleven dollars. Killer deal on that one. And the Nike full zip sweater sold for twenty-one. We won't know the actual cash net in, po in pocket after fees until we ship it, but it'll be 10.9% off. It was 157 total, so minus 10.9% gives us $139.88. Then we have to take out $0.30 cents per transaction. There were 12 transactions, so that should give us a total net profit of the show of $136.88. And 28 cents. And while we were doing the show, I had somebody in the chat flip finds fun. I think that's our username. His name's Josh, Josh V, actually, just like me. Uh, and he actually reached out wanting to buy the two skateboards that we picked up in this video because I didn't want to put them on whatnot. And I didn't want to put them on eBay. I just offered them on Instagram a couple days ago. And he said that he and his family are going to be in town. So we met at the Goodwill Bins yesterday. I didn't get any of this on video, but I think he got it in his video. So you can watch that if you don't trust me. But he bought both of those skateboards for $40 in cash. So if we add 40 bucks to that, that puts us at 176.28, I believe, if I did the math correctly. So whatever it says at the top of the screen, that is the correct amount that we currently have in the budget after everything is accounted for, but before we've actually paid for the windows. So here we are, folks. The new windows are all installed. We just finished the door, the back sliding glass door today. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And we have paid him $3,800. I don't know how much money we have left in the budget at this point, but it is not very much. Uh, but I kind of like it that we like kind of reset and have yeah. the challenge of raising the money again. So let's look inside and see what they... Let's go. It looks so good, you guys. It does. Is it worth the... I think it was... $3,700 for the windows and doors themselves. It was and then, a lot of money. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it's necessary. You know, the windows yes. were 50 years old. So if you only have to replace your windows every 50 years, hopefully we will never have to replace windows and doors in here Look again. Look at this door. As you knew before, that baseball bat was the only thing that was holding this door like closed or whatever. Yeah. And now it looks so it looks nice. Good. We got to get in here and trim it out with wood a little bit, but it actually has a real, a real lock on it that you can move up and down look there perfect perfect for a rental the windows look good from the outside they look good from the inside there's bino and milkshake over there hey guys missed you <laughs> windows on the inside look really nice we got the new bathroom window i think you guys saw the bathroom window in the last video all the bedrooms are good to go i think this is our last like super expensive project our next i mean we still have to get the shower finished in here we got to do the tiling and stuff in there uh that's going to be relatively expensive we need a toilet but i think the windows it was like eighty seven hundred dollars or something all in i don't think we'll have anything that expensive moving forward we still got to get the flooring refinished in all the bedrooms maybe some new paint got to replace a couple more ceiling fans 
in here we've got to put a vanity and mirror and light we've got to refinish the tub so it's a lot of different projects but i don't think any of them will be that expensive but now that we have a new door and new windows in here this door over here got to look looks, really looks a little gumpy now, but... it's functional but it's actually not an exterior door it's hollow and current code you're supposed to have a solid door for an exterior one so maybe i can look on facebook marketplace or something and see if we can find a new door it does feel very good to finally have this project behind us one because it was so expensive and two it's just again the last big project that we have everything else is seems manageable and i think we're almost to the point where we can actually start to think about the possibility of finding a renter for this place and start actually making money from this very expensive investment but uh, so far on the rehab, we're still only $20 out of pocket, which is pretty cool. So if you guys want to see the whole series on our YouTube channel, there's a playlist linked in the description of this video. You can click that, watch all the videos, and we have like 26 or something 27 like that. at this point. <laughs> uh, and it's been a really fun time. So thank you all of you that watch our videos, all of you that come to our whatnot shows and buy stuff from eBay. Uh, we could not do this challenge without you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next, the next one.